Hey folks, we have a Tank Master Yi game coming in hot this uh, game, and I'm going to explain why to you. First of all, take a good look at the runes. We are using the Resolve Tree, and uh, we are grabbing Unflinching. We're against a Mumu, Ari, right, which has a good amount of CC, which is really annoying to deal with. And we're also against high burst champions like Graves, Jace, and I mean, Ari kind of lives and dies on burst too. So if we play like a more hybrid tanky Yi with some fire cape, then, you know, we are uh, more likely to survive and do a bunch of damage. So I think that a tank build will work really well here. Actually, I think in general, tank builds just work really well on Yi. Like, I actually, you know, the pretty standard build is like Blade Ring King and the Kraken. But I actually, I think you can get away just building tank if you really wanted to. Today's video is sponsored by Porofessor. You ever felt like League is too hard and there's too much to keep track of? Then maybe you should check out Porofessor. Porofessor is one of my favorite applications of all time. It allows you to see jungle timers, flash timers, and even what your teammates play and what the enemies play. It gives you so much information that typically in a League of Legends game you wouldn't have. Porofessor is an app that I love using myself. I'm telling you, even if I wasn't sponsored, I would still use Porofessor. It is a great application, trust me. Porofessor can make you a better player. Make sure to click the link down below in the comments in the description. Now we're gonna continue our push upwards. I actually really, really like the idea of this. By the way, I brought Ghost. And you may be wondering, why did you bring Ghost, Calcep? I, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> That's why I brought Ghost. Ugh, don't worry, guys. I slowed him with my red buff. Wait, I don't have red buff. All right, you know what? That's fine. We're going to back. We're going to heal. And life is good. I kind of wish I had meditate. Ooh, we're going to miss that cannon. But the things you do for love, guys. Uh, we're going to drop this. Grab the lifesteal. And uh, some people ask me if the, the trinket bug works, even if you're not maxed on wards. So we're going to do the trinket bug right now. And you guys are going to see if it works. If you don't know what the trinket bug is, hang on, I gotta pet my cat here. If you don't know what the trinket bug is, basically you swap to a red trinket from the yellow and then you swap back to yellow and then you can hold more than two trinkets. So typically the cap is two. Now we can hold three. So we just hit two and it looks like the bug is not functioning. So you have to wait until you're at two at least. You're welcome guys. Well actually, We'll see. Maybe if I put down the trinket. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's do our full clear here. I need to hit level four. Level four will give me... Um, meditate. Which will be good for contesting any crabs or anything like that. I think that... Uh, nice leash. It worked. <laughs> it worked. I like the leash. I'm not going to lie. Graves came from this side. I don't think the crab was there when he came yet. Though Ari is warding. So we popped down the trinket. And yeah, the trinket bug did not work unless you're at max trinkets for anybody that's wondering. So if you have two trinkets, swap the red and then you can swap back. Um, Amumu, you're going a little, a little deep, homie. She has no uh, flash. Yeah, that was that was a little ballsy of a Mumu. I, I know that feeling though. I've done that where like you commit to a gank and you're so deep that you just feel the need to completely follow through with the gank, otherwise you're gonna be so far behind. And then of course the gank fails terribly and you both die, and then at that point you're basically spamming FF open. Yeah, that's what a Mumu just experienced. I've I've experienced that before, a Mumu, my friend. It's it's understandable. Mm. All right, pull it up. Yeah, so somebody asked about uh, the jungle creeps outside the zone. So the reason why you kill the jungle creeps outside the zone is because like this, right? You're pulling them to your next camp, right? So that you can get to the next camp quicker. So you're not wasting time. I'm gonna go for a dragon now. We have no camps here. So this is a good time to go for dragon. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a good one, Brom. That's a good one. You keep that sweep up, homie. Getting that meditate reset on the dragon. 
Uh oh, a Mimu's coming. Okay, it moved, which means a Mumu's right over here. But a Mumu might have just warded and backed off, so. That could very well be the case. I want to go for that Ezreal, but I got to finish Dragon. Let's get him, bro. Me and you, homie. Woo! Wait, he had a... Uh, he had a uh, cleanse. Okay. That was, uh, that was a good debate. That was a good debate. So I'm going to back now and purchase my boots plus a Reeker Bell. Basically, anytime you play Tank Master Yi, guys, you want to get damage items. I had some comments the other day that were uh, telling me, Calcep, why do you clickbait Tank Master Yi? You bought bruiser items. I'm going to give it to you guys straight. You don't want to buy pure tank items on Master Yi. Okay, you want to you wanna buy bruiser items. Also, I just realized I bought this longsword when I don't need it, but it's something. I was going to buy boots. Yeah, you want to buy a Blade of the Rune King into tank items afterwards, right? Because Blade of the Rune King is just such a powerful item on Master Yi that if you don't have it, you don't do any damage. And Master Yi without damage items isn't Master Yi. Like, most tanks, like let's say you're Shin and you build full tank, you can CC people and taunt them into you, right? Yi doesn't have any of that. You have like 50 flat true damage per auto. If you don't have attack speed and you don't have AD, you don't do anything. So you have to have at least Blade of the Rune King. And the cool thing about Blade of the Rune King, what makes Blade of the Rune King so good, is that the only thing it scales with is your attack speed, which your ulti gives you, right? And, like, just having that extra on-hit damage that scales with enemy HP instead of your own or instead of your AD, it's just it's great, right? So, like, Blade of the Rune King is just... In any quote-unquote tank mastery build, Blade of the Rune King is required. And I also highly recommend... That you get uh, a Gunju's Rage Blade too. My my recommendations. And basically, guys, to give it to you straight, if you're not building Blade and Ring King as your first item, you're trolling. <laughs> yeah, that that's how important the item is to master you right now. Oh, this Brahm is going hard. I'm just hitting that to get my stacks up. All right, I got him. How you guys doing over there? You want some help with Ezreal? Beautiful, I got the assist. And now we're gonna go over here and clear our Gromp. And then we have to make our way over towards here. Uh, we can actually sell the Longsword now to finish off the Blade of the Marine King. Because I'm not planning to build anything out of this Longsword anyway. It's kind of a waste of money uh, because you buy it for 350. And you sell it for 250, so you're basically wasting 100 gold. But we finish a power spike, which is very powerful in itself. And we also get rid of an item that we're probably not going to use anyway. For a while. I mean, we might use it later for like a death dance, but... Like, if we get some fire, we don't use a long sword. If we get Gunzus, we don't use a long sword. Why is he pinging? I can't get there in time. Mmm... Um, Okay, let's grab ourselves this camp. The beautiful camp here. Beautiful. And then we're going to grab red. And once you get the Blade of Marine King, you can really fight whoever you want to fight. Pretty nice. Well, you know, assuming that you get it fast enough, right? If you get it a little slow, then yeah, you know, you might be priced out of some of these fights. I want to kill this Ari. Actually, I should probably go for Jace. Ari's going bot side. I'll do a little sweep through here. Found the pink ward. Blue's up. Chase is Mia from top. I beat him though. He has no items done and I have Blade of Rain King done. <laughs> like he saw me here.
Uh, I'm going to clear the wolves and the gromp because that's what I do. Ooh, Fiddle's about to get a kill here, huh? Just doing fiddle things. Where are you at, Jace? I don't know. He came down and warded the blue. He saw I was doing the blue because you can see on the mini map, right? But uh, and then he decided not to do anything about it. So it's kind of like, what did you ward it for if you're not going to do anything about it anyway? Oh, man. That wave is too small. That wave is too small. Wait, who got rift? Oh, did they get rift? I might be able to make a play here because Jace has been very aggressive. Look at him. Dude, there's no way this was warded. This isn't warded. He would shoot into it if it was warded. Right? Yeah, it's... Oh, oh. Sorry, Nasus. I know you want these stacks, homie, but... Ooh, I almost died to tower there. I'll let him have all those stacks. We did okay. Yeah, so Graves didn't even see me. I saw him sweep over the wall. I was going to try to get to him, but when we did Alpha Strike Graves, we tried to point our Alpha this way so that if he hugged the wall, we can go over the wall. <sighs> Next up is either a Sunfire Cape or a Guntu's Rage Blade. Usually my decision is based on like how much gold I have. If I have 2,600, I'll grab a Guntu's. If I have less, I'm willing to buy the components of the Sunfire because by the time I back, I'll pick it up again. Um, my team's trying to do Dragon without me. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I think we just let it go. I'm nowhere near it. I don't have ulti. I haven't bought yet. Like, there's a lot of things going against me. Ooh. That was a close one. Oh, he got her. <laughs> Nasus players are the worst, guys. They're the worst. So we're going to go into here and we're going to clear this dragon while we can. What, what does he want? Like, nobody is in position to get this. Oh, somebody's coming. Probably Graves. Yeah, he's right over there. Alright, dragon secured. We're just going to leave that little ward there. I need to... I'm probably going to go for the full Gunju's Rage Blade finish here. And then afterwards... So after the Gunju's Rage Blade, you can literally buy whatever you want, right? I think that uh, Tanky will be very good in this particular game, so I'm going to be eyeing the Tank Master Yi. So we go over here. What's up? How you doing, Fiddle? How you doing? This Nasus is not having a good time, is he, guys? Uh, you know, if he's angry enough, he could be pinging me right now. But, you know, obviously this guy, he seems pretty chill with this situation. Okay, Gunju's will make you absolutely crazy and it'll completely snowball you. So, in my opinion, you typically want to buy damage items before tanky items, right? Because if you buy damage items, you can farm faster, which can get you your tanky items faster, right? Uh, so, it goes without saying that we're going to go for this build here. There is no way I can hold that. That is that is gone. Hmm. And then we'll pull down to the red buff. We got raptors spawning soon. Right? It makes sense. Like some people actually buy like tank items first. Which in my opinion never makes sense. And again, I would be happy with getting a Sunfire before Guntu's, depending on how the money goes. But if you can full back into a Guntu's Rage Blade, you should always do it. Uh, I might even get a. I might even get the Fist this game. Fist is a lot cheaper than the Sunfire. 400 gold cheaper, and it's actually not bad on Yi. I heard that having extra size actually increases your attack range, right? Which is uh, very interesting, actually. Dude, why is he so fast? Holy crap. And Ezreal flashed over the wall. Okay. Okay. 
Well, we did get a flash over the wall. Oh. That was a bit greedy, huh? Well, you know, almost. Now we're going to begin working on the Sunfire. Now you could buy boots, but I'm going to get the Sunfire component. Well, it's really unfortunate that even Ghost and Highlander together doesn't outrun Jace, but, you know, this is fine. He has boots as 50s, and I have no boots at all. I am thinking about Merc Treads, but at the same time, since I have them flinching, no, I don't need Merc Treads. I have too much tenacity as it is. Actually, it depends. If I get some fire, I don't need Merc Treads. But no some fire, maybe I'd consider it. Hmm. Krug's down here. I wonder if Ari's down here, too. Nope. Sweeper giving me that Krug knowledge. I like it. I am pretty confident somebody's going to go to this tower to defend it, so... Okay, he went through the jungle to defend it, which is a little awkward, but, you know. What in the world, dude? This, this isn't warded, right? Oh, that blind charm? Wait, he has a Banshees? Interesting item choices for Ari. But once I get, like, tanky, there's nothing he's going to be able to do. I mean, I think I'll get plated steel caps this game. Um, that seemed really unnecessary, to be honest. I want to go in so bad. They have too many dashes and stuff. But dude, I can't go in. They have too many dashes, man. Like, if I go in, Graves dashes, Ari dashes, Ezreal dashes. Mm, we're going to lose that dragon for sure. I need to be tankier. I can't do anything until I get tankier. Wait, did he just... Why do they keep doing that? Okay, wait, where's Nasus? Oh, he teleported in. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm going for her. She has no uh, mana. Oh. She has a CC item though, huh? I don't know why he would use Gale Force when we obviously had her dead. But, you know what? More power to him. We got two Zanyas coming in hot already on my team, which is nice. They only have one on a Mumu, which could be tragic. And I'm also, I'm highly considering the uh, the Frostfire Gauntlet, or whatever it is. Get a nice little slow zone. Being a little bit bigger is no good. Like, my tenacity is sitting at, I don't know, 35% here. If I go, I could go for Mercs if I really wanted to. I mean, the tenacity from Sunfire would be great into a Mumu. I mean, Sunfire is obviously the better item, but saving 400 gold is also a pretty big deal. Mm, I might be able to find Graves coming up through here. Oh no, he's probably going to go down and around. Uh yeah 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 come on down here Graves come come to your uh come to your Krugs homie you know you wanna go to your Krugs go, somebody go deal with Nasus yeah can somebody go deal with Nasus oh he saw me with the sweeper what in the world is that guy doing man <laughs> actually we have enough for the Sunfire Aegis so I think I'll probably just pick up the Sunfire here. It would be such a good amount of tenacity. Like, uh, so Sunfire actually stacks additively with your Unflinching and the Elixir Pot. So what I'm going to do is grab this. And then we get the uh, Plated Steel Caps to deal with these other three people. So we're sitting on 41% tenacity before even losing any health. At this point, we don't need any more tenacity, which is why we're opting out of the Mercs. Also, Mercs aren't going to give you that much tenacity when you're already running Legend tenacity and stuff. Um. Hmm. 
looks like Fiddle actually wants to do Baron, which I'm okay with. Just gonna do a little check over here in the jungle. I mean, Graves is right there. I mean, I'm down, dude. But okay, he wants to. He wants to force a fight. I see. I see what he wants to do. You see that tenacity? Woo! Oh, I almost survived, but that was that was some pretty insane gameplay right there. The tenacity on the Amumu wall, his ult did nothing to me. 100% was not worth it for them. Nice ace. Get us that Baron, guys. So the majority of our damage was physical as predicted. Um, a lot of it was basic attack damage. We now have to play the steel caps, and we're looking good. Hopefully in the next fight, we'll be able to do it. Fiddle, what are you doing? This is mine, bro, mine. 16-23. Game's pretty close, actually. But I have the fullest confidence in team fights here. I think uh, we should be looking to take team fights at every corner. I'm going to actually kind of bait a fight here. Why am I running? Oh, <laughs> Mumu missed everything. Oh, but he also has Zanyos. Um, well, I did bait the fight like I had wanted. I'm not sure if it quite worked in our favor. Hey, homie. I'm just, I'm just chilling here. We're going to push. We're going to full push this. What? What are you guys going to do against Tank Master? You guys can't do anything against me. I mean, sorry, as my YouTube comments will point out, Bruiser Master Yi. Guys, this is Tank Master Yi. When you get a Sunfire, the moment you pick up a Sunfire and play Steel Caps, it became Tank Master Yi. It is a night and day difference when you pick up a Sunfire versus if you pick up a Kraken, right? Like, the game completely changes. In my mind, this is enough to be Tank Yi. Now, the obvious item next to get, in my opinion, is a Death Dance. But... As you guys may notice in my videos, I don't get Death Dance very often. And the reason why is I feel like the item is so overpowered that if I spam it in my games, it gets quite boring to watch. So I like to get you guys a little bit something else. Uh, you know, some kind of other non-meta item to just make things interesting. So I like to get things like Titanic or Starag. I'll get a Titanic here. Like, they're not better than Death Dance. Like, Death Dance is the second most broken item in the game after Zanya's. But they are certainly a lot more fun, right? Like, I, I think we can all agree that a Titanic Hydra is probably one of the most fun items in the game on Master Yi. Uh, but yeah, you saw we won the team fight. I told you guys. That's what I wanted. I'm telling you, like, the moment you get some fire, every game is winnable. Do I care about this guy wanting red buff? No, right? <laughs> he's so mad. <laughs> Look at him. He's like standing in place. Me up pinging me. Hey, man. I got, I got dreams and aspirations. I need red buffs too, homie. I need them too, all right? I got 10 kills. 10 kills in a dream. Now, you could argue, cow's up. You should give a red buff to Aphelios. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But you're also not right. You're also... Ooh, a word. Yo, you get that push, team. I'll join you guys in a second. You always want to make sure that you full push. All right, I'm coming down. Oh, they surrendered. Well, you know, on a day's work for Tank and not Bruiser Master Yi. If you want to see some more Tank Master Yi, check out this video right here where I also play some Tank Master Yi. I'll make sure it's one where I get a full build so you can see it in all of its glory.